the rolls really were putting a clapperboard on, uh, logging all the film, putting film into magazines, unloading it, loading it, sending it to the labs. Have it, it then got processed, um, came back, was viewed, and I did that for a long, long time. I started at Bournemouth College of Art and did three years as a de degree there. Then I went to work at the BBC and never worked for anybody else. So I was very lucky that I had most of my career was at the Beeb. Eventually got made up into a cameraman and I started doing tape technology in the 90s and that was uh, Betamax, Digibeta, then high definition. In 2000 the BBC closed the film department so we were all made redundant. So I went freelance and have been freelance ever since and the great thing is you can work on anything, you don't have to just work on BBC programmes, you can work on anything. So for me that was brilliant move and I got paid. The issue is pay. At the BBC you're a staff member and you get a salary and your money goes into the bank account every month. You don't have to put in any invoices, you don't have to do anything, it was brilliant. As a freelancer you have to think about everything and you really do have to think about money and you need to know what your rate is, you need to fight for that, you need to then chase people for payment because you know, four weeks will go by and you still won't have been paid for that one or two days you've done. So it's a hard world when you're freelance. Um, being freelance is nice because you can actually pick and choose the jobs you want to do. If you don't want to, you just say, I'm sorry, I'm busy. If the money isn't very good, you say, well, I'm sorry, I can't do it for that rate. Um, maybe, you know, you could charge you could you could give me another 10 15 pounds if they say no and say right okay well i can't do it for that money or something like that you can actually fight your corner a bit however you might find that you need the money so badly you have to work for the lower rate that you didn't really want to go down to so that's the bad side of freelance really and it's hard getting work you have to get your own work Yes, I knew you'd ask me this question. And that my advice is, simply, try not to do too much for nothing. My name's Rhys Davis. I'm um, a composer and sound designer working in theatre, film and television. Signify the visual text with sound accompaniment, including foley sound, atmospheric sound and dialogue, um, and to compose incidental music uh, depending on what the project is, whether it's a, a corporate or whether it's a movie. Postgraduate, um, so one of my students this year has just gone to the National Film School to do sound design or Bournemouth, or they will use their showreel and get a runner job and then work in the sound department. A lot of them, I mean, another one is now was boon swinging for um, the BBC. Um, the thick of it, the, the political comedy, the thick of it. Sound people, they move around from different specialisms. So you might go, might go from post-production, um, mixing, to being a live Foley artist, working with microphones on stage and practical sound effects. The truth is, it depends what course you do. Uh, you want a, a course that has a strong vocational element to it, but you want also want a course that is not just vocational. There are some courses that are just designed to train you up to work in the industry. The problem is, we don't know what the industry is going to be like when you are ready to work, go into the job market. You know, when I, was, when I was your age, there were three television channels and some newspapers, and that was the media. But now, every aspect of every part of every life is media-driven. You could be working for Coca-Cola in the media department. You could be doing promotional films. You could be doing this, that, and the other. Nobody watches television. Nobody watches broadcast when it's broadcast unless it's strictly, um, or the X Factor. 
everybody else just box sets or catches up or you know records a whole watch of stuff and then watches it in one go. So what's the future of the industry? So you need to think of a course that has strong practical skills but also lots of transferable ones so that you can w work in different areas, either in the creative industries or someplace else. Give yourself every opportunity to make choices. Making films is all about creating a situation where you're then free to make a lot of different choices about the kind of film and how the film looks. And the same is with your career. You, set, you do enough things, you give yourself choices and go in whatever direction it leads you. But don't put all your eggs into one basket because that basket might have holes in it. Being self-employed, I much prefer that because I've always been self-employed. Well, not always, but for most of my life I've been self-employed. And it can make you very arrogant because <laughs> you can tell people, no, I'm not doing that. Um, and it gives you a lot of free time so that you can pursue your hobbies, you know, and turn your hobby into the next um, career. So it can be quite lonely being self-employed, especially if you work from home like I do, but uh, I have an assistant who comes in a few days a week and I've got some outworkers. But you, 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 you are on your own, you have to sort out your tax, you have to talk, sort out your VAT, um, and you have to be totally self-reliant. Most self-employed people work very hard. I'm an exception. I don't work hard. I'm actually quite lazy. It sounds like I work hard. I don't. Um, but m you do have to make sure things are done, even if you're like, lazy like me. Editing, well, I hired a professional editor um, and I just sat next to him the whole time. So I'm not that great technically. And if you do, ed do you do editing? Uh, yeah. Right, you probably know loads more than me, but a lot of it's timing, isn't it? And just saying, yeah. oh, if it was just three frames, it, the joke would be come out a little bit better. So it's, um, it's just that kind of thing. As I say, you probably know more about editing than I do. Certainly, I know nothing about colour grading. I'm just like, art, I don't know much about it, but I know what I like, sort of thing. Yeah. Um, 